Good morning everyone. Today I am going to begin with new topic, a lesson my father taught me. A lesson my father taught me is a speech by APJ Abdul Kalam in which he gives the message to the youth of the nation. Before we move on to the discussion on this, let me tell you about APJ Abdul Kalam. APJ Abdul Kalam the 11th president of India was known as the people's president in his time. Before his term as president, he worked as aeronautical engineer with the Indian Space Research Organization and with the Ministry of Defense. Today, we know him as the Missile Man of India. This missile man of India played instrumental role at the organizational, technical and political level in India's nuclear test in 1998. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan, the Padma Vibhushan and the Bharat Ratna Award. Now let me tell you about this prose in short first. In this essay, Kalam shares his childhood experiences with the youth of the nation. He narrates the events in his childhood and passes the message to the youth how his father taught him to work with integrity and succeed with integrity. His father's ideology influenced him in childhood and shaped his character and personality. His father's message of advice that he must not accept any gift without his permission has long-lasting influence on Kalam. The other thing he learned, when the Almighty appoints a person to a position, he takes care of his provision. If a person takes beyond that, it is an illegal gain. In this essay, APJ Abdul Kalam narrates his childhood experience and gives the message to the youth of the nation. While telling about his experience, he says that in his childhood, he received the gift from a stranger in his parents' absence and later, when his father came back, he inquired about the gift. He asked, what is it? Who did give it? And then Kalam, who was a young child, told his father that a stranger came in his absence and gave this gift. His father became very angry. He lost his nerves and he slapped Kalam. Now this young child started crying, started weeping. His mother came close to him. She embraced him and consoled him. The very next moment, his father came to him, kept his hand on Kalam's shoulder and advised him not to receive a gift from anybody in his parents' absence. Now this event that Kalam had in his childhood shaped his character and personality. And what did he learn from his father? He learned two things. First one is, when the parents are not at home, he must not take any gift. He must not receive any gift from anybody. This is one thing. 
and second when he will be in a position he will not accept any bribe in any form from anybody because he has learned the lesson from his father that when the Almighty appoints a person to a position that Almighty takes care of all the provisions and if a person takes beyond that then it is an illegal APJ Abdul Kalam the President of India and the Missile Man gives the message to the young people that they have to work with integrity and they have to succeed with integrity. Then only we can become superpower nation in the globe. Otherwise, if we nurture this habit of accepting gifts, definitely we are going to become corrupt. Let us see what Kalam has to say in this piece of prose, a lesson my father taught me. Let us begin the discussion here. APJ Abdul Kalam, while addressing the youth of the nation, questions, what did he learn from his father? And the answer that he gives is very interesting. He learned to work with integrity and succeed with integrity. This is what he learned from his father. What does it mean? It means that you must have to work with honesty and sincerity. Honesty is the best policy in life. You have to be honest. You have to work with integrity. Then only you will be successful. And that success will be long-lasting success. Now when he has to give the message to the youth of this nation, he tells them about his family background. Let us see what he has to say about his family background. He says his father lived long life, his mother too lived long life. And for both of his parents, he was their last child, a dear, a lovable child among four brothers and a sister. Now today we see that we live in such families where our grandmothers, our grandfathers are not with us. But APJ Abdul Kalam, while talking about his family, says very proudly that theirs was a full-fledged joint family. And they continued with that tradition. Now, when he was asked to give the message to the youth of the nation, he thought about it, that what message he should give to the young people. And in such conditions, when he looked around, he thought that there was too much corruption. Now, what he can give to, what message he can give to the youth? And the message is that they must have to work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Then only we can survive as a nation. Otherwise, the entire system will collapse with corrupted people. And then he shares the event that happened in his childhood. Now, what is that event? Let us see. While well, talking about the lesson that he learned from his father, he says, My father taught me a great lesson in my life when I was a young boy. And this was the time after 
independence. And the Panchayat elections took place at his native place, Rameshwaram, a very beautiful place with a population of around 30,000 people. And this place is in coastal Tamil Nadu. APJ Abdul Kalam says that it was the time of Panchayat elections and my father was elected its board member. The same day, he was also elected the president of the civic body. Now, the secret that he shares about his father's success is this, that he got elected. He was elected the president of the civic body not because, not because he held himself from a particular community or spoke a particular language or belonged to a particular economic strand. His father was a good human being. He was a noble man. And he was elected only on the basis of his nobility of mind and his good character. Now, this was the time that APJ Abdul Kalam is talking about, and this was the time after independence. And then he narrates one incident that took place on the same day when his father was elected president of the Panchayat board. Now, when the elections took place and when his father was elected as the president of the Panchayat board, it was the time that he was studying in school. Now, when you look around, you see that children study in the light. We have electricity, but in those days, APJ Abdul Kalam says, we didn't have electricity in those days. So we studied under the lamps. So we studied under the light of the lamps, which were lit on kerosene. In those days of his childhood, he used to read the stories aloud. And when one day he was busy in reading, when he was busy in his studies, he heard a knock at the door. Now, APJ Abdul Kalam talks about Rameshwaram and says that in those days, people did not lock the doors. So even they haven't locked the door. He heard the knock at the door and somebody opened the door. The moment he looked at the person, the person inquired, inquired about his father. He asked him where his father was. And then APJ Abdul Kalam, who was asked today, he replied to the person that his father had gone for a prayer. Now at this, when the man, when the stranger found that Kalam's father was not there, he said, I have brought a gift. Can I leave it here? Now, the small boy thought that my father is not at home. Should I accept it when my father is not at home? He thought about it and suddenly, he shouted, he called for his mother to take her permission. When he called for his mother to take her permission, he realized that she too was at a prayer. Now the child was in a dilemma, what to do with the gift. When he found that there was no response from his mother, she too was busy in a prayer. He said to the person, you leave it on the cot. The person kept the gift on the cot and leapt. Now this young boy Kalam 
continued with his studies. He resumed reading aloud from his study books and he concentrated on his studies. Just after some time, his father came in. He saw a tambulum plate kept and he asked, what is it? Who has given this? And then Kalam has to tell his father that there was a stranger. He inquired for him. And that man wanted to leave this gift. And as mother was too busy in her prayer, he told the person to leave it on the cot. Now, Kalam's father took that gift in his hand. He opened the cover of the tambulum. And what did he find? He found a costly dhoti besides some fruits and sweets. Was that all? No. There was also a sleep left behind by the person. Now this is very interesting. When people want to do... Now this is very interesting. When people want to do their work, they offer gifts. And that is a kind of bribe. Now the person who had come to Kalam's father and left his gift there, he wanted Kalam's father to do a favor for him. So he left the gift and also slept with that, thinking that Kalam's father, the president, the president of Panchayat board would do him a favor. This sight overall upset Kalam's father. He was very upset with what had happened. He was very angry with the child. He lost his nerves. His eyes turned red. And he slapped Kalam. Now, the boy who was beaten started crying and weeping. And the boy realized that it was a mistake. He would have not received the gift in the absence of his parents. So he started crying and weeping. His mother too was there. She too witnessed the scene. She came to him, embraced him and consoled him. And even our mothers do that. They came to our rescue. Similarly, Kalam's mother embraced him and consoled him. Now, at this moment, what do you think that Kalam's father would do? Yes, exactly. He went to the child, touched his shoulder lovingly with affection and advised him not to receive any gift without his parents' permission. Without parents' permission. And he quoted from Islam and told APJ Abdul Kalam, who was a young boy, what did, what did he tell his son? When the Almighty appoints a person to a position, that God, that Almighty, takes care of his provision. And if a person takes anything beyond that, it is an illegal gain. So this is the event that happened in Kalam's childhood has long-lasting impact on his mind. It influenced his life. 
So, dear students, what did young child learn from this event that happened in childhood? Yes, Kalam learned two things. One, he must not accept any gift without his parents' permission. This is number one. And number two, the second that the second thing that he learned in his life was when God Almighty appoints you to a position, God Almighty takes care of you and your provision. And when God Almighty has appointed you to do a task, and when God Almighty has well taken care of your provision, then in that case, you must not have to accept any gift in any form. And if this is what happens, then it is an illegal game. So this is the message that APJ Abdul Kalam gives to the youth of the nation. That we have to work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Then only we can survive as a nation. Then only we can become superpower nation in the world. Otherwise, we would become corrupt. And you know, Corruption destroys nations. Corruption destroys nations. So honesty is the best policy in life. That we must have to be honest. We must have to be sincere. And we must have to do our work with all our loyalty. We must have to do our work with sincerity. And when we do it honestly, and when we become successful, we are happy. And that happiness is lifelong. That, happ that happiness is for lifelong period. It lasts for lifelong time. But if we cheat, deceive, and if we do not work with integrity, and if we become successful, then what do we do? We do corruption. We do many illegal things and we destroy our nation. So each person living in this country must have to learn from APJ Abdul Kalam that they all have to work with honesty. They all have to work with honesty and sincerity, then only we can think of the best future, otherwise not. Dear students, uh, these are the meaning of some of the difficult words and these are the questions. On what basis was Kalam's father elected president of the Panchayat Board? Yes. Kalam's father was elected president of the Panchayat Board. What is the answer? Yes, he was elected on the basis of his nobility of mind and strength of character. He was a wonderful human being. He was honest. He was sincere. And that's why he was elected president of the Panchayat Board. What is the second question? What lesson did Kalam learn from his father? So, dear student, what lesson we get here from Kalam and his father? Yes, we, we, we learn the message that we have to work with integrity and succeed with integrity. So, Kalam learned from his father that he must have to do work honestly and sincerely. He learned from his father when God appoints a person to a position that God, that Almighty, takes care of his provision. And if a person takes beyond that, then that is illegal. In his childhood, when he accepted the gift without his parents' permission, what happened? Yes, when his father came home, he questioned, what is it? Who did give you? 
and when Kalam narrated the entire episode, yes, his father became angry and slapped him. Did the matter end here? No. Kalam's father was a very idealistic person. He wanted to teach his son a lesson. So, he touched his child's shoulder with love and affection and advised him not to receive any gift without his parents' permission. So, that is the lesson that Kalam learned from his father in childhood. Why does Kalam specifically mention the day of the incident? What is its significance? Yes, what, what day Kalam is talking about? Kalam is talking about the time after independence when the, election, the panchayat elections took place and what happened in those elections? Yes, his father was elected president of the panchayat board. He was elected on the basis of his nobility of mind and his good character. Now, this is the event that APJ Abdul Kalam is talking about and this is the event that happened in his childhood. The same day, the stranger came to the house when his father was not there, inquired for his father and when found that his father was not there, when Kalam's mother was not there, he left the gift on the cot with a sleep as he wanted Kalam's father to do him a favor. Now, when his father came back, when Kalam's father came back, he saw the gift, he asked his son about it and he did not get the proper explanation he slapped Kalam. So this is the day that Kalam is talking about because this changed his perception in life and he learned. He learned two things. That whatever he does, before that, he must have to take his parents' permission. Second, when his father was in a position, he was against corruption. He did not like this idea that somebody came in his absence and dropped the gift. So this has a lifelong impact on Kalam's mind. And he learned not to receive any gift from anybody, from, from anybody in any form. And that is the significance of the day. It remained in his mind for a long time. And this particular event, when his father slapped him and at the same time touched his shoulder with love and affection and advised him, that changed his perception, that changed his life and shaped his character and personality. Now we move to the fourth question. Discuss the implication of the words of the word hadith as quoted by Kalam's father. What is the meaning of the words of the hadith? When a God Almighty, when God Almighty appoints you to a position, he takes care of your provision. But even after that, if you accept, if you accept beyond that, then it is an illegal. So the meaning is this, that we have to work with integrity, integrity of mind and character, and we have to be honest. And then only we are going to be successful. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.